Hey, how's it going everyone? How are you guys doing tonight, today, wherever you're from in this beautiful world? Alright, so, um, <coughs> I've got another beer here from Dan and Mike from FLX Beer Reviews. Uh, I'm trying to get through these this awesome 12 pack of 16s he sent me. I really appreciate that as always. Please go to their channel if you have not already and subscribe and uh, definitely check out their uh, their videos, their reviews. They're a fun, they're, they're fun to, to, they're just fun dudes. They're, they're happy and they're funny and everything's cool. So go check them out. Um, <clears throat> so this is, uh, I'm trying to get through the, the, the New Englands and stuff like that. They're going to, you know, suffer more from date and stuff, you know, the dates and stuff. So I'm, I'm, I think this is the last, this is actually the last one. I have a, a pale, uh, as a hazy pale that I need to do as well. So I'll do that uh, here soon. But this is from Other Half Brewing Company, another Other, uh, other Half. It's uh, all mosaic everything. It was double dry hopped Imperial IPA. New England, I should definitely say. 8.5% ABV, alcohol by volume. And it is straight up single hopped with mosaic. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. Mosaic is a good damn hop. So um, that would be the berry one, the blueberry, berry-ish, maybe a little danky, uh, possibly. Who knows? Uh, we'll find out when we get to that. But the, this can is got the, the black one. They're from B Brooklyn, New York. Brewed by other half. Um, so I am looking forward to this. This is canned, <clears throat> doesn't really have a date, so it's kind of like a code or something. I'm not sure exactly how to read that or figure that out. So let's go ahead and open this up. If you hear bubbling in the background, it's my American Amber going off the hook <laughs> and it's gonna be a large one too I didn't mean for it to be so large maybe next time I won't crack my grain oh boy from afar I'm smelling that maybe I won't crack my grain um, do two times next time I, I did a double crack that smells so berry like whoa holy crap all right it's not a dirty glass, but it's a washed glass, so it might have some bubbles. Let's pour it up. A little bit of a hard pour. That's the can. I didn't show it. Eight and a half percent. Kind of looking forward to this, man. It smells fucking good. Holy shit, strawberries and blueberries. And like a dank, definitely a danky. Oh, there's definitely kind of like a resin tone of cannabis. Wow. Earthy, resinous cannabis, blueberry, strawberries. Whoa, man. Holy shit. Maybe some uh, peach. Possibly a little stone fruit, perhaps. Maybe a hint of, I don't know, I'm wanting to say like guava or something like that. But, wow, that smells so good. Let's get a, a whiff of the can. Whoa. Yeah, there's a lot of candy coming through too. There's a bit of candy, sort of, like a little slight pinch of candy. Candied, um... Blueberries, candied, strawberries, candied, uh, just candied everything. It's nice. It's got a sweet uh, touch to it. That danky, kind of a danky. There's a slight, f sort of kind of a floral. But, I mean, psh, man, the, the, there's that blueberry, strawberry, the berry thing, the cannabis-y kind of, uh, I don't know, there's like a little bit of a cannabis bite. I don't know why I'm getting that. Or dank, yeah. Malty, I'm getting a bready. I get definitely get the bready. 
It almost is like um, blueberry, strawberry. Um, um, what's that sweet, like, sweet bread that you put, like strawberry shortcakes? You put whipped cream and strawberries over that little sweet bread shit. It kind of smells like that sweet bread. Yeah, I don't know. As far as the malts and stuff. It's so nice. Oh my god, I can't taste I can't wait to taste this. You can smell it from afar. You can smell it. Oh yeah. Earthy and like blueberry strawberry. Wow, holy shit. Whitehead, leaving some great lacing. I mean, even like a slight droppage of legs kind of dripping down. Um, hazy hay or uh, straw colored yellow um, color kind of a, like a like a dirty lemon or something very white head very creamy frothy head Wow um, very hazy nice uh, opaque can't see through I mean I can't whoops wrong way <laughs> looking at my phone but very nice. I mean, very, it's a little, you can see some light coming through the bottom there, but I'm freaking gnarly. Let's drink this. Cheers. Holy shit. Okay, you get the blueberry strawberry. You get the dank, the cannabis. But you get watermelon, you get melon. There's watermelon, melon, little guava in there, passion fruit, dragon fruit or something weird like that. Not dragon fruit, that's more sour. That's kind of like a soury kind of, maybe kiwi or something. Kiwi watermelon. There's a little bit of melon bite to this. Jolly Ranchers, like strawberry and Kiwi Jolly Ranchers or something. And then you get that berry, you get a big berry kick. And there's like a nice, like dirty, earthy kind of uh, danky, cannabis y kind of thing going on. Resinous. Soft as fuck mouthfeel. Watermelon candies too. I said watermelon. Yeah, watermelon. Jolly Ranchers. Um, peach. Maybe a slight peach coming through as well. Maybe a little bit of apricot. And it just sits in your mouth. And you can taste that, that earthy funk. You know, like it's like that resinous bite. It's like, yeah, it hits you. It's nice and it sticks there. Very, very soft, like creamy, smooth mouthfeel. The body is medium for sure. I'm gonna have to do a single hop just to, just to get all the flavors of that particular hop throughout that New England, New England style that is. Oh my God, seriously, I'm going to have to do, I'm, I really would love to pay attention to one hop. That would be so good when I brew. Yeah, for real. This is fucking fabulous. Fucking great right here. This is a really good beer. It's really putting a, a lot of flavor, hot flavor through, a lot of aromatics, a lot of fla flavors. Flavor profiles bigger, are big. The aromatics are huge. It's not bitter, hardly, uh, a very low dosage of IBUs, and uh, it's kind of wet all the way through, wet, like a wet mouthfeel kind of thing going through, and then it slightly dries a bit in the back in the finish. No alcohol whatsoever, very dangerous beer here. That's about all I got, but that's fucking, this is delicious. Out of 10 hops, I'd give this 9 point... I'd probably go to 9.6, 9.6 hops. This is absolutely beautiful. Very good. 
Thank you guys. Thank you, FLX, man. Thank you, Dan and Mike. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Dan. But thank you, Mike. Hell yeah, I just said that twice, didn't I? Fuck. Got me all be uh, No, this is really good. So, if I could brew something like this, I'd be very happy. But, yeah, very good. It's definitely not oxidized. Definitely fresh. And uh, I really appreciate it. So, uh, check them out again, FLX Beer Reviews. Go check them out. And, uh, and um, check out their content. Good stuff. Great stuff. Uh, yeah, so entertaining. I like the entertainment. So, all right. Well, you guys have a good night, day, wherever you're from in this beautiful world, but not after one more sip. Oh, god damn.